Welcome back everybody. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. We're wrapping up the year and I just want to say thank you so much for the support on the channel. Thank you to everybody that has subscribed and all of the good uh, feedback and the help in the comments. It's meant a lot to me. Um, you guys have helped me save uh, you know, an animal from dying. Uh, so thanks to whoever been injured a little bit. Uh, feeding tips and just basic care and, and it means a lot that you guys reached out to me and it definitely helped me out learn a lot and helped out the animals so i know it's been a long year a lot of videos but i'm thankful that you guys have stuck around and i know they're not the greatest videos but uh, i try to make them all about the animals um and then if you guys learn something then that's awesome but basically uh the videos i think have helped me out more because you guys have reached out to me and given me a lot of positive feedback. And uh, so, on that, I'm having another issue with the Burmese. Not that I had an issue before, but I've had issues with the other snakes. And we'll check him out really quickly. So, here's Mountain Dew. She's going to eat a rat here very, very soon. I have one out right there. And... I've noticed today, when I was taking the Burmese out, and she's eating very, very well, I have bumped her food up to a bigger sized meal. She is still eating every uh, two weeks, which I still think is appropriate. I could bump it down to every week. Uh, she is two years old, just turned two. So, I mean, I don't know. She should be hitting her growth spurt any time now so hopefully we won't have her strike at the camera she's, she's not bad but she does get a little testy a little bit when stuff is around her face so she was in that one but it's like this and i'll show you guys what's going on on the inside of these totes so i've had mountain dew in there for quite a while and haven't had any issues. So here's the main lip that goes on the outside of the container, and then inside it has these slots, which should rest right here, which should not be an issue. Now, I don't know if these are becoming an issue, or these are the issue, or maybe even rubbing in here. So she had a hide. Maybe I need, I don't know, a bigger hide? I'm not sure. So this is not, um, you know, skin that didn't come off from a shed because she had a perfect shed the last time she shed. And I didn't notice this on her earlier, but we can see on the top of her head right there. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting. We can see more on this side how she has scarring. A little bit of scarring, a um, little bit of some um, scales have come off. A little bit but her face is really pink behind her eyes it's really pink as well so that's and on her nose is a little pink so it definitely shows that there is some rubbing she does have some scales missing on her body um, like behind her neck and stuff like that but overall I think she looks really good you see those spots um, like right here where she's missing scales but she's a beautiful animal I love her patterns I love her colors just a little, it just makes me a little bit nervous um, on the rubbing issue. So at her size, honestly, she could still be okay in a 70-30 rack. The only thing that concerns me is I had Mountain Dew in there, and she started to rub, and her face got, the top of her head, she was losing scales since she's been in here, and she shed, it's gotten much better. So my plan was, was to move her, in here, which this is where the motley was, and I'll show you guys the motley really fast. So if you guys even care what's going on, I appreciate you guys sticking around. So I have most of the snakes on paper right now, just because it's easier to observe them of what's going on. So this is motley. She's doing very well, and as you can see, she has plenty of room, and I just 
got this set up like right before I turn on the camera. So her water dish is soaking, being cleaned. She does have a hide, no issues with that. And then this will be her new cage. The berms, I mean, of course it's not a forever home. So she's got her water. And then I got that hide in there and there should be nothing in there that's where she can um, rub her face on there. If she starts rubbing the glass, then I'll probably just black it out like I did with the Argentines, just so she's okay. But it definitely makes me a little concerned. Um, it's nothing major. I think I caught it before it got worse. So we'll see what she looks like in there. And let's feed the anaconda. So we know about the Motley. The Motley looks really good. We'll move this. I saw Walmart the other day had a new style of these huge container totes. They looked a lot more durable. The lids looked a lot stronger. And I went back, because I couldn't get them when I was there at that moment. I went back today and they were all gone. So if you guys can find these totes at Walmart, they're, they're like 30 bucks and they are definitely, definitely worth it. Just be aware. The top is wider than the bottom, so that's really the only downfall of that. Now I'm very glad and lucky that this girl right here is finally on rats. And with her being on rats, she's going to the bathroom a lot more often. So both anacondas um, have been going to the bathroom almost daily whether it's them peeing or them actually pooping. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of figuring out that that's kind of the basics or, <laughs> or the normals thing with these animals. So she's definitely has some very good, is getting some, getting some good sized meals on her. Uh, we all know the issue I had with her earlier in the year and you can tell she's definitely bounced back. Every so often I do see a little weird uh, skin tone on her. Uh, it looks a little weird, but she bounces back very, very quickly on that. So not to keep you guys any longer than uh, you guys want to be here. So we have not seen this animal in quite some time and she is doing well. She's eating well, uh, feeding her every week. No problems at all with her. Uh, the black Mexican king snake. So she's growing up. Not too sure what I want to really do with her. She'll probably just be a pet forever. Uh, I hear colubrids are a little difficult on the breeding with the cooling and, and the cycling of them and stuff like that. But you know, people do it, so it can't be impossible. But burns. I mean, I, I hope she's doing okay. We'll, we'll see on her next shed because she's eating bigger meals now. She really should be shedding more often. Um, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Pop-Tart, if you saw the last video, she had a massive meal. Very, very large meal. And I don't know if I'm actually giving her enough time in between meals because she just pooped again. And there's no way she pooped out that meal that I just gave her. I don't, I don't think, but I don't know. I don't like, I'm not an expert on anacondas. Um, the people who I do ask, they poop all the time. And it's, it is what it is. So, I mean, it could be from the meal from a couple of days ago. It's almost been a week. Um, I guess, I guess it could be, but um, I'm just, so she is on paper. You can probably kind of see in there her huge mess, but probably not. So she's on paper. You know, I just want to make sure she's okay after having a very large meal. And if she poops anywhere in there and, and it's a weird substance or a weird color or diarrhea or anything, I can easily see it and I can make adjustments on that without it being hidden in you know, four, six inches of bedding. But um, that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day. 
Really appreciate the support once again. And thank you for sticking around and <laughs> watching the videos. So, um, she's just eating. Kind of, not yet. She'll still wrap up, probably for quite a bit. I'll try to scoop her back in there without getting bit, but that is it. See you guys on the next video.